I'm Barry Chandler and I want to talk about these little bricks that we all grew up with, that we jumped out of bed in the morning and stepped on them and we'll never forget the pain of these bricks sticking into our feet. And I want to talk about the remarkable company that produces these, these bricks uh, because they're in the news right now. But before I do that, um, I want to talk a little bit about StoryForge. So at StoryForge, we are in the business of helping companies grow by aligning with the needs of all of their stakeholders. So their community, their customers, their employees, and of course their shareholders. And we do that by helping them discover and articulate their singular purpose, the reason they exist, their why. And we take this why and we help align the rest of the organization with their why. Now what we know is that companies that are purpose driven, that have a singular purpose and align with this purpose, tend to be more profitable financially than their competitors. They tend to attract and retain the best talent and they turn raving fans, and uh, they turn their customers into raving fans. And one such company that does that really well is this company, Lego. So Lego is a company that's been around for about 65 years. They're family owned still to this day. And they're in the news for a remarkable reason. They want you to stop buying their toys. Why? Because they can't keep up with demand. Such is the demand for Lego right now that they just can't keep up with their production. The, the production can't meet the needs. Now, why is this a remarkable story, a company that can't meet the needs of, of supply? Well, uh, to truly understand why that is such an amazing um, story, we have to look back to about 2004. And in 2004, Lego was near bankruptcy. They were losing about $300 million a year. And they hired their first non-family member CEO to try and turn around the company. So one of the first things he did was he consulted with his old colleagues at MIT, and he had studied business and economics there. And what they told him was that Lego was a unique toy. It was unique because it helped develop the minds of children creatively and systematically. He heard something similar when he read an article in Time magazine about the two founders of Google who said that Lego had shaped their young minds. So he realized very quickly that Lego was very busy getting up every morning, producing as many bricks as they possibly could, getting into all kinds of, of product lines and franchising and licensing deals to try and uh, produce more and more Lego, but they had moved away from the real reason they existed. And so the new CEO decided it was time to get back to their roots, and that was to refocus the company around a singular purpose. And that singular purpose was based around what they were best at and what Lego did better than anybody else. And so they renewed their purpose and they reinvigorated their purpose to be to inspire and develop the builders of tomorrow. A remarkable purpose. And if you go to the website, you'll see they expand on that by saying that our ultimate purpose is to inspire and develop children to think creatively, uh, reason systematically, and release their potential to shape their own future, experiencing the endless human possibility. And that's a very different focus of a company than we need to produce more bricks to sell more bricks to more people. And so with this renewed and reinvigorated purpose, he set about reorganizing the entire company so that every aspect of the business, all the product lines, the markets that they were in aligned with this, with this core purpose. And that changed everything. What was remarkable was that over the, over the 10 years following this reinvigoration, so from 2004 to 2014, the company changed dramatically. And in 2014, Lego was pronounced to be the most powerful brand in the world. And today, in 2016, is the most valuable and most profitable toy maker in the world. And this is an amazing turnaround. This, this Lego, um, this toy company now has more cultural relevance than ever. They had a blockbuster movie recently. Um, they had a song at the Oscars. Um, and many millions of more children get to experience the joy of Lego and get to develop their minds systematically and creatively. So what Lego found was that by moving away from being in the business of producing more things and instead focusing on the outcome, they changed their entire business. So how could your business uh, benefit from examining what your singular purpose is? What is the reason your company exists? Would you be in all the markets that you're in? Would you be in all the product lines that you're in if you, um, if you aligned everything with the singular purpose? So we know that companies that pursue the singular purpose tend to be more profitable uh, and uh, more often than they're not. And they create such clarity that decisions can be made at various levels of the organization that move the company closer to this purpose. So pursue purpose over profit and profit will, will follow naturally as you meet the needs of all stakeholders. So a remarkable story from a company that's very close to my heart and I keep a little bit of Lego on my desk. 
uh, uh, to play with all the time. So for more tips and strategies and videos like this over the coming days and weeks, please head over to our blog at blog.storyforge.co and you'll find uh, lots of tips and strategies on how to grow a business that uh, pursues purpose and ultimately is more pro profitable because it meets the needs of all of its stakeholders. I'm Barry Chandler, thanks so much for watching.